Okay, so just carrying on from um, that last note then, I just thought we could do a NCI as well, can't we? So fair value of NCI at acquisition was 485. So let's put that in, 485. And we know that we want the um, our, or their share of that 114. So uh, we acquired 70%, so they want 30%. So 114 times by 30% is 34.2, which would give us NCI of 519.2. Retained earnings, we could start as well. The holding company then, Diamond, they've got retained earnings of 1180. So we can put that into our retained earnings work. You have to make it small because there's always a lot of things that goes in there. And then for the uh, first subsidiary, it would be the other part of that 114, the 70%, wouldn't it? So 114 times by 70% is uh, 79.8. I said it's not, is it, actually, because I just want the retained earnings bit. Okay, so the retained earnings, 100. 70% uh, of that is 70, isn't it? The other 14 will go to other reserves, which we'll do later. Okay, so far so good then. Let's have a look at note 2. So there was note two I have to tell us. On the 1st of April 2015, two years ago, they acquired 40% for 420 million. So, uh, and this is club. Now, if you go and have a look up here, club. Now, the examiner normally puts um, subsidiaries up here. Now, is this an associate because we acquired 40% looks like one? At this date, the carrying amount and fair value of the net assets was 1,032. Um, Okay, I haven't used those yet, so I'm just going to undo it because I haven't I haven't used them yet. Uh, Diamond Treaty Club as an associate, an equity accounted up to the start of the year. Okay, haven't dealt with that either, so let me get rid of that. So I'm not quite sure yet whether this still is an associate or not. At the start of our year, Diamond took control, acquiring a further 45%. So now I know what's going on. Now I know it is a subsidiary, okay? Uh, and I know it is a subsidiary, and I know we've bought it in steps. We've bought 40% in step one, and we've bought 45% in step two. Okay. And in step one, we paid 420 million, and in step two, we paid 500 million. So we just put those figures in. That's what we actually pay, 420 and 500. But I want the fair value at the date that we took control, which is when step two happened. So the fair value of 500 in step two, at the date of step two, was 500. I want to know what the fair value of that original 420 was, okay, when I come to do my step acquisition. On the 1st of April 16, the retained earnings, another, were 293 and 59. So you think, ah, yeah, well, that's for the equity table, isn't it? So 293 and 59 at acquisition. So I now want to go put the year-end figures in, because I now know it's a sub. 700, 364 and 59. 700, 364 and 59. I presume that the 700 was the same there. So I'm getting somewhere now, aren't I? So now I can say, right, that's a difference of 71. That's a difference of nothing. So that's 71. I can add all of the at acquisition down. That gives me a book value of 105.2, not 59, 105.2 book value. I want the fair value. Uh, and the fair value was 106.2. Okay, 106.2. That's easy then, the difference of 10. The difference is due to PPE. Remember we acquired this, uh, we, we acquired the second share one year ago. And it says the difference between the carrying amounts and the fair values was due to uh, PPE with a useful economic life of five years. So 10 divided by five is two a year. And I got it one year ago. So it would be like that, wouldn't it? So that must be 69. And that 8, I need to go add on to clubs non-current assets, like so. And we are getting somewhere, aren't we? So 
I've done that now, I want the goodwill. But I still can't do the goodwill because I don't know what the fair value of consideration was and I don't know the fair value of the NCI just yet. So I'm hoping this note helps me a bit. Share prices of diamond and club. Well, I want the share prices of club was 160 at the date of acquisition. Good. So at the date of acquisition, we bought another uh, 45% for 500, but what does that 40% represent? Well, 40% of 700, isn't it? That's what we paid, or we acquired in step one. And the fair value of it now, I think it said was 1.6, now being at the date of acquisition. So I now know the fair value of that 420. It's actually 40% times 700 times 1.6, it's actually 448. The fair value is 448. And so therefore, the fair value of consideration is 948. I could also work out my fair value of NCI as well, because it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be 40%. No, it's not going to be 40%, is it? It's going to be sorry, 15% because we've bought 85%, haven't we? So it's going to be 15% of 700 at 1.6 at the date of acquisition. So 15% times by 700 times by 1.6. NCI was 168. So I can go put that in. 168. Fair value of net assets acquired. I know that. 1062. And that gives me goodwill, therefore, a 54. So I can go put the goodwill in. So investment in club becomes goodwill a 54. And I'm getting somewhere. Now, this is a step acquisition, isn't it? Now, what we would normally do, we would say the difference between those two, a difference of 28, that goes to retained earnings. So the retained earnings working, what I would normally do is put in 28 there. Okay, that's slightly wrong. I'll show you why it's slightly wrong, because they were treating it as an associate. And the associate cost 420. We know that. But then it did have some post-acquisition. That's the only difference. So the post-acquisition, they'd have got 40% of... Um, at acquisition, it was 1052. When they came to when it came to be a subsidiary, it was 1052. But if you go and look at the notes somewhere, he tells me when I first got the first 40%, it was at this date, it was at 1032. So I've made the difference between them. I've made uh, what 20, is that right? 1032 and 1052. Yeah, I've made 20, and so 40% of 20 is 8. So I'd actually be at 428. And then I've gone to 448, so the difference is not 28, the difference is 20. Now, in the exam, uh, when I did it, I put in 28, I've got it wrong, it's the only thing I got wrong in the exam, uh, which is not like me, to be honest. Um, but there you go, uh, uh, meaning I normally get more wrong. But, um, yeah, so this bit here. You know, if you're thinking, what on earth is he going on about there? I would just say ignore it. You know, it's going to be half a mark. Okay, so are we worried about half a mark? No, we're not. Not in this exam. So, anyway, that's that. Um, we can do NCI, can't we? Uh, so, NCI, 168 there, 168 here. Post-acquisition NCI, that's 69 there, so it would be... 69, NCI would be 15%, 10.35. So NCI gets to be 178.35. So I've kind of done NCI now, because I've got NCI up here, and then I've got NCI, the other company. Add those two together then. And we get 697.55. I'm going to put, go put that into my equity. So a new line, NCI, uh, 
I know Share Capital is always the holding company, 1650. Okay, and I've done note two.